Open Core, the basic way, part number six. Multi Boot. Open Core is the versatile tool of our choice to boot into unsupported macOS versions and bring other benefits like the boot picker and hardware acceleration for modern AMD graphic cards. But what if you want to change in between different types of operating systems? Let's say you want to install beside Mojave, Catalina, Big Sur, and Windows a Linux distribution of your choice as well. Your Mac Pro can handle all of these operating systems and it's always better to run them natively on your hardware. Regarding to the other episodes of this series, you learned how to install OpenCore already and we assume you have one of Martin Law's packages already up and running. For this episode, I start from scratch macOS 10.14.6 installation with OpenCore 0.6.4 and I have downloaded Catalina, Big Sur, Manjaro Linux and Windows 10 already. As usual, I used my flashed 4.1 Mac Pro equipped with Sapphire RX 580, 16GB of RAM. I got four Western Digital Velociraptor hard disks to install the different operating systems on them. They once was the fastest disks on the market and quite cheap nowadays. More than enough for our needs. Well, maybe not the most clever idea to take four drives of the same kind, but later more. Let's get rolling. We boot into Mojave, open the disk utility and rename every drive in Catalina Big Sur Linux and Windows Only Steve Jobs know why they appear different on the desktop. Chapter 1. Catalina In order to install Catalina, we have to alter the config.plist and set the VMM flag. Open Clover Configurator Mount the EFI partition of your OC install drive and edit the config with the editor of your choice. Find the emulate section and replace the below CPU ID 1 mask string with the above CPU ID 1 data. This will set the VMM flag, where your Mac will operate as a virtual machine. Save the changes and reboot your Mac. Install Catalina
and reboot your Mac. The boot picker will show the Mojave installation, the recovery partition, and the same with Catalina. Boot back to Mojave. Chapter 2 Big Sur Back in Mojave, we find a shadow copy of Catalina as a new partition appear, Catalina Data. As we don't need the VMM flag anymore to install Big Sur, we switch it off by altering the config.plist and set in the emulate section the value back to the original setting. just by replacing the letter C with an A under CPU1 mask. An extra reboot is not necessary. The Big Sur installer will do a restart and the VMM flag is switched off after. Save the changes and proceed with the Big Sur installation. Reboot your Mac and the boot picker welcomes us with the Mojave, Catalina, and Big Sur installation and their associated recovery partitions. Boot back to Mojave. Chapter 3 Linux Once again, we notice another change. Mojave reports an incompatible disk. This is not an issue but the Big Sur installation. Just close the reminder and the disk on the desktop are now Mojave. The shadow copy of Big Sur, Catalina, and his shadow copy and update which belongs to Big Sur. We are going to build the Linux USB installer drive and I use an app called Belina Etcher. Oh! Time to plug in a USB drive. If not initialized, format the USB drive as shown. Select your desired Linux distribution, choose the USB drive and flash the content of the ISO to the USB drive. The USB installer might not be readable by macOS, just ignore the reminder. Reboot your Mac with the plugged-in USB drive. 
Oh wait, because I mentioned in the beginning that using 4 hard drives from the same kind was not the most clever idea. I have to remove all the disks instead of one which should contain Linux. The Linux installer was asking where to install the distribution and showed me all of the 4 Raptors where I didn't know, which contains already an OS or not. Continuing the installation, we choose the yellow external drive icon named MISO underscore EFI, which is the Linux USB installer drive. We will see the GRUB, which is the Linux bootloader. We boot the live image of Manjaro Linux with open source drivers. Choose the install Manjaro icon and proceed with the installation. Select the correct drive. Where I have before 4 WDC drives, there's now one. Choose Erase Disk and click on Next. Complete the setup and install the distribution to the hard drive. In a magic, magic moment, moment, hidden, hidden from, from your, your eyes, eyes. It, happened it happened that all of the four Velociraptor discs, discs suddenly, suddenly sliding, sliding back, back into their slots. Their slots. The next reboot brings us to the almost complete boot picker. Three macOS partitions and one with no name which contains Manjaro Linux. Shut down the Mac and again remove all the disks which should not contain the Windows installation. Plug in the USB drive which contains the Windows installer. Chapter 4 Windows Boot up your Mac and choose the yellow external disk icon named Windows. The Windows installer is starting and we have to delete the partitions where Windows should be installed. While Drive 0 is the Mojave installation, Drive 1 is the disk where we want Windows on. Proceed the Windows installation. Refer to episode number 4 for details. Sliding back all of the hard drives, and you're able to choose at boot which operating system you want to start. I hope you liked the new episode and we maybe earn a thumbs up. Don't miss the next episode by subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching!